his stomach shay. For real? So, I gotta be quiet because obviously it's late at night, but I wanted to bring this video. So, Tom McShay decided to speak on a, uh, I guess, a podcast on ESPN. And the question was, you know, Jalen Hurts, the future, obviously, the Eagles. I don't know what's going on with them. There's rumors that Sean Watson. I, I just hope not. I hope we give him a chance to do this. I think can can uh, lead this team to hopefully back to a Super Bowl. Um, I guess Tommy Shea don't think so, but I really don't give a damn what Tommy Shea think. But uh, I just wanted to uh, make the video of what my opinion would be on what Mick Shea said today. And um, you know, obviously I'm gonna play you the video what he said. Um, but it ESPN has a bunch of Stoop knots, okay. They're ran by a clown organization, okay. You got Stephen A, the clown one, and clown two, Max Kellerman. You know the same dude who, who you know, uh, just just hates everything about anybody who's great. It, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, this dude thinks that uh, you know Aaron Rodgers is, is a bum. I mean, you know, uh, no football knowledge at all, no sports knowledge. Not really good box analyst anyway. You know, but uh. Tom Shea was asked today, do, do you see Jalen Hurts taking a lead forward? And here's his response, and I just want you to watch it. And then I'm going to react to what my initial thoughts was, because, like, here you go. I do want to go back to Philly for a second, only because they feel like a team that's become very intriguing. It might be a year away from right now. So, they had some cap issues, which was going to limit their spending in free agency. So it's not a major surprise, Todd, that they were fairly inactive in free agency. But they now have the 12th pick this year and most likely three first round picks next year. They now own their own Miami's. And if Carson Wentz plays 75 percent of the regular season yep. snaps or 70 percent and Indy makes the playoffs, they own Indies as well. So this is a team that is loaded with potential draft capital next year. Does it feel like this is the ultimate evaluation year for Jalen Hurts? Or do you take this as, hey, maybe the opportunity here is to make Jalen Hurts the centerpiece and then just absolutely load up with weapons both this year and next around him? Yeah, I mean... They're they're committed to Jalen Hurts. That's what everyone in the organiza organization is saying, and okay. and you've got to be because that's that's your option. That's that's the direction you went, and you made that Carson Wentz deal because you you thought that he was that Hurts was going to bring you more success moving forward, and it, it frees up a lot of money too. Let's be honest. I I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I don't think Jalen Hurts is going to lead Philadelphia or any NFL organization to a Super Bowl. Okay, so you heard it with uh, Tom McShay, the, the Stu Nod said, um, you know, by the way, the, the, the dude missed the question, didn't answer it. It, it. The question wasn't whether Jalen Hurts is going to bring us a Super Bowl. The question was, do you see a learning curve? Do you see him progressing after year two? And he basically just started with, oh, I, I, you know, they got rid of Carson. No, first of all, Carson Wentz wanted out. All right, for people to think that they got rid of Carson, they, they, they lose credibility because Carson Wentz's agent has said many millions of times that he did not want him in Philly. They thought it was the best situation. It was best for both of them to part ways. Number one, he didn't believe in the GM and Howard Roseman, who I don't blame Carson Wentz for, for a lot of things. You know, especially his bad playing was part of it. You know, uh, a guy was in his fifth year. Uh, his mechanics look bad. And he, it's just a, it needed, he needed a new fresh start, okay? So I don't know why they're still bringing it up. You know... It is what it is. Jim Hurts' team, we got to move forward. I love Carson. I wish him the best, but it didn't work out. And and to me, he he, he was a child, all right? He, he went somewhere that I think is going to give him a lot more than we had. And, and it's going to, uh, like Joey Shake said, um, shot to him, they put him on a silver platter. I mean, everything's everything's there for him. Um, he doesn't have to do nothing except throw the ball <coughs> and be successful. 
But Jalen Hurts, um, I think a lot of people are sleeping on him, man. And this, I still hate the pick. I will never like the pick. I don't give a damn if that dude wins seven Super Bowls, okay, for this team. Jalen Hurts, the pick was stupid, all right, and but you still do the guy. The guy hasn't got a chance, okay. And for Tom McShay, first of all, even answer the question for the fact that he said that I said before that I don't think Jalen Hurts can ever is not a guy that will win a championship. Well, that's not the question. The question was, do you see him taking a leap forward the following year? Did he answer the question? And, but then he goes and says, yeah, I believe in him. I, I I mean, I love the kid, everything. But then he says bad stuff about him in the first place. Once you say bad stuff in the first place about a, a, a football player, you lose credibility because everything that you say bef after that, it doesn't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? You you lose credibility when you talk bad on someone. And then, then afterwards, you say all these great things. I don't care about that. It's what you said before. You know, that's why I didn't play the whole clip. Because he was basically trying to cover up his behind because he knew... That we said was was completely outrageous and out of line and out of pocket. To be honest, it's like you you hating on the kid that that pretty much didn't even get a full season. Okay, I think Nick Sirianni is going to do well with him. I think Nick Sirianni is going to use his strengths and weaknesses to help Jalen Hurts grow as a human, as a player, as a, as a leader of this team. The team loves playing with him, you know. And, and once the team loves playing with a quarterback, everything comes together, you know. Um. The Eagles, in my opinion, need to use Jalen Hurts the right way. And, and that way is, I think he needs a throw. He's a throw from the pocket, but I think he's a guy who can do everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's just a running quarterback. I think he can throw. You know what I'm saying? I think he needs to work on his accuracy, but I think he's the guy who can bring, you know, this team back to what it was. And I do think he's a capable of winning the championship. And it's not going to be, obviously, this year. We have the new head coach and all that stuff, but I think year two could be a possibility where we could see this team improve. It goes to beyond Jalen Hurts. It goes beyond how, if how he can draft. It goes back to the GM and the owner and what this team can be. But for for Tom McShay, this this student not who who has no, he doesn't even know how to to uh, answer a question without just you know taking someone's character and, and just destroying it. I mean, this is what they do. They're they're ignorant. They don't have any common sense. And, uh, you know, his accuracy, I mean, his accuracy was fine versus the Cowboys when he threw a touchdown to Sean Jackson. Oh, we won't we won't talk about that. Never mind. You know, uh, I, I guess that went out the window. I mean, this dude has potential when you're seeing You see it last year. You saw a little potential. When we threw that touchdown with Deshaun Jackson, I, I knew this guy was something special. You know, obviously, it, it was sad because you watched another quarterback that we thought could be a good future piece down the road get traded it is what it is we got to move forward to it i'm not going to speak carson wins the name again because he's not here longer you know what i'm saying it's not a carson fanboy channel this is the eagles champ one channel okay it's all about the eagles and the birds and i think a lot of people disrespect jenna hurts and i think one of them is tom mcshay and tom mcshay i hope gets you know a jenna hurts you know uh a trauma this year because i hope jenna hurts proves everybody wrong i hope he goes out there and i hope he just destroys everybody's narrative that he can't be that guy you know what i'm saying i think this tech guy's humble i mean watching him he, he's a humble dude he, he's he's a guy that how can you not like him he, he's a he's a guy that that i think a lot of people want to be around with you know he's a smart intelligent football player and he's not selfish he's a very very mature young guy and and i think a lot of things don't bother him i think he fits philly because of his the way he's able to embrace the city and knows what Philly's all about. And if you can't handle Philly media, you're no longer... The point with Carson Wentz was he he, he couldn't handle the fan base. It, it, it was bothering him, and you could see it. You know what I'm saying? I think Jalen Hurts can, and I think Jalen Hurts has been through a tough time. This dude was benched for Tua, all this. So if Jalen Hurts has improved that he's the guy, then I don't know how he can prove it because I think this year is his, is, is his chance to show everybody. I think he will. I think a lot of people are on this mission, Jalen Hurts, and I think Jalen Hurts is going to prove a lot of people wrong this year, man. I'm telling you, I think Jalen Hurts is going to show a lot of people up this year. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's a smart, humble guy, and for a, a, a humble kid, a guy that I think has a driven to be great. And, and you know, I think a lot of people are, are, are shit on over, over him because of his accuracy, and I get it, you know. But I think he can be teach, and I do think, I mean, you have accuracy, you're not taught that. But I think Joe Hurts has, has accuracy because, you know, 
Jalen Hurts showed you in versus the Cowboys he could throw. You, you saw that long bomb to Sean Jackson, so I know he can throw. Um, but it's just, can he stay in the pocket? You know, so I'm not worried about his accuracy. I'm worried about his mechanics, how he develops as a quarterback. And that goes beyond coaching. And that's why Press Taylor is no longer here because he couldn't develop these quarterbacks. He was destroying not only John Hurts, but Carson. The, and, 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 you know, it is what it is. You know, I don't like to talk about Carson, but it is. But when he brought up that, it had to be talked to, her, obviously, because Ms. Shea was bringing up, you know, about Carson. It is, it is, but no, Carson wanted out. It was over. It's beyond done. It's time to move on, and it's Jalen Hurts' team. And I think Jalen Hurts has got a lot of people to prove on, especially me, because I was not a fan of Jalen Hurts until I saw him. And I seen, I see the, the potential out of him. You are seeing the kid. You see the talent. You know, uh, I don't know what this Eagles team believes, because like I said, there's, you know, I don't know if they believe in him. There's rumors that they might go off to Sean. I hope not. Give the kid a chance. You know, what's worse happening? He stinks. Then you have to drive a quarterback next year. If it does not work out, you got to give them at least two years to develop. You know, you can't just say this year and then move on. No, you got to give them time to develop. I agree with that one, Miche, but because eventually he says that. But for you to sit there and say he, he didn't even answer the question, and I just think it's once again Tom McShay likes to put opinions over facts. You know, answer the question rather than what you believe in. It's about what I believe in, not what the question. The question was asked about what Jalen Hurts' next step would look like, not if he can win a Super Bowl, because we don't care about that. His next step is to help this team grow. And, you know, there's quarterbacks who shock a lot of people. And I think Jalen Hurts is going to shock a lot of people next year. I'm telling you, I think this kid's going to come with a hunger and a passion and willing to win. You know what I'm saying? I think Jalen Hurts is a guy that I don't think he I don't think he talks. And I love that. A quarterback that doesn't talk but shows it on the field. And that's what you want because the, the biggest – Quarterbacks who win chances are teams that don't say nothing. They just show their play on the field. And John Hurts is one of those dudes that I think can bring championship. You know, uh, but it's up to this coach staff if they can develop him. And it's up to this GM who can draft. Uh, this GM's an idiot. You know, he can't. This is the same dude who, who can't draft a Pro Bowl since 2016. You know, I, I'm hoping that Howie Roseman gets his head out of his ass and drafts players to help this quarterback because John Hurts can't do it all on his own. You have to build around him. You know what I'm saying? But here's here's my thing, Tom McShay. Weren't you the same one who... This dude is not even credible of the draft because he says the most stupidest, outrageous things when it comes to draft. Like, this dude is the same dude who thinks that the Eagles are fascinated. Like, he... Like, this is the same guy who thought Michael Parsons at 12 would make sense for the Eagles, Okay. I, you know, like, when do we ever draft a linebacker? But this, the, the, it's no surprise that these, these, these clowns on ESPN say these outrageous stuff. You know, and, and the only reason they're doing it is because he's an eagle. Because if he was any other team, they would be hyping him up. But now he's on the eagle, he stinks. All right, bro. All right. Hey, man. It's going to be fun next year. Because Nick Sariani and Nick Hurts is going to shut a lot of people up. And Nick Shea, you just poked the bear. <laughs> And I think you poked it too much. Now it's going to attack. But uh, it's up to Jalen Hurts to show these critics. Listen, I can say what I want, but Jalen Hurts got to prove it. And I think he will show a lot of people up. Tell me what y'all think. And tell me what y'all think about McShay, man. I'm out. Peace out. Eagles Channel 1.